Ligon Zaid. Hi, good afternoon one and all. I am Dr. Satya, MDS in Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology, Senior Most Consultant and Branch in Charge of Arthur and Hematmega Branch. I have been familiar to all of you who have been viewing the live chat for the past 60 weeks. I am very thankful to all of you as So, till now we have been explaining about uh, different types of equipments which are available at us and we are very proud to say that we are one of the well reputed corporate dental clinic having world class facilities spread across our 80 plus clinics across Andhra, Telangana and Bangalore. In Andhra they are nearly 30 plus branches and in Telangana they are nearly 40 plus branches and in Bangalore they are nearly 5 plus clinics. So till now we have been explaining about different types of high end equipments which are present at Arthur Dental Clinics and we have been mentioning about super speciality doctors and who are available with us. We have nearly 250 plus super speciality doctors available always spread across our 80 plus dental clinics. So today we want to do this live chat in a bit different way. So we are planning to do a live demonstration of a virtual tour in our clinic. So, I will be explaining you about how we receive a patient, how we will be going ahead with checking the patient and how a different class of equipments which are available at our clinic will be helpful to us. So, let's start this today. So, after a demonstration of a live dental tour in the clinic, later on I will be taking up with the questions. So, for any of the dental related problem, so please feel flexible and drop down the questions during the live chat or if not, if you have any problem related to teeth, you can contact us at a common number which is 040-4142-0000 which is common number for all 80 plus clinics, so which connects all 80 plus clinics and helps you to locate your nearest clinic and you can walk into a nearest clinic and get your consultation done with a super specialty doctor. Today, as I told, I will be taking you a virtual tour in, in a dental clinic, so which gives you an idea about how we will be starting off with the patient, how we will be using different types of technologies, okay, which help us to give a, a better diagnosis and better comfort to the patient and better understanding of the patient too. So, let us start this today. So, as I told you, if you have any teeth related problems, please drop down the questions and I will be taking up the questions after the live demonstration. So, let us start with the live demonstration right now. So, I will be explaining you about this clinic which is Patra and Nagar. And we have, this is our waiting area in which the patients will be coming here and will be sitting over here. And we have a, such a beautiful setup of clinic and the patients will be walking in directly whenever they have some teeth related problems. So as soon as they enter, so we have a sufficient space where they will be sitting up, okay, after during sitting. So this is the front office area, so where we have a front office assistants who will be guiding us. So who will be guiding the patient who will be walking into. Okay. These front office assistants will be receiving the patient and they we follow a pattern which we call it as day sheet. So we have this pattern which we give it to every other patient who will be walking into our clinic. So this carries the basic details. This carries the basic details of patient name, patient date, address, phone number, contacts and all. So we take this basic information it's mainly because after taking up this basic details, uh, this gives us a benefit to contact the patient whenever we require and for recalling the patient whenever they have a concern specific appointment. So I, 
I'll just show you about a older case sheet in which this is how we take up the patient details, address, phone number, contact details also. So once this will be taken, so the case sheet will be forwarded to the a specialist doctor who is there waiting for taking up the consultation details. So this is our beautiful front office with the patient waiting area. So right now I will be just taking up to a consultation clinic, consultation live room where we already have a patient and a doctor who is already waiting over there. So we just wanted to show how lively we will be taking the uh, consultation. So as soon as the patient comes, so they will take up the consultation details. So the complaints will be done. So we are taking the patient and making him sit on the dental chair. So we usually follow a protocol for a consultation too. So we use a, a disposable gloves for every other patient so that the infections will not be carried from one patient to the other patient because in many of a dental infection spread will be happening mainly with the dentist hands. To avoid that thing we use something called as a disposable gloves which will be freshly used for each and individual patient and we use the diagnostic instruments which you can see has been clearly locked into a, a sterilization pouch. So the sterilization pouch it may assures that the instruments which are there inside is is completely sterilized and whenever we use for each an individual patient for every patient it will be a new set which will be used to demonstrate the things. So this pouch clearly seals the things and clearly tells that it is completely sterilized. So let us have a look about a live demonstration that we take up in our clinic. So here we have a patient who is having a problem. So we have a problem and sending our clinic. So we'll just have a look at it. After checking the things in live, the patient, we have a beautiful instrument called as intraoral camera. Okay, so using that intraoral camera, the doctor will be clicking the site where the problems are. Okay, be it if at all patient is complaining about anything which is having cavity or some of the problem. Here you can see. We can see the image live on live on the desktop close to the doctor. So in this camera, using this intraoral camera, we can lively demonstrate the things which are happening inside the mouth. So you can see the doctor is clicking the things and we can see the images which are being displayed live in the on the desktop. So this gives us an opportunity to identify the things better and show it to the patient live. Show it to the patient live when it is happening. Okay. This we can see clearly. Doctor is using the internal camera, and we can see the images. Yeah. You can see the images directly coming on the camera. So, after that, after clicking few of the images, so the doctor will lively sit here and explain to the patient in live so that the patient will have a better idea about what is going wrong in his teeth, as in, we can't have a clear cut idea about what is happening with the teeth. So this gives us as opportunity to show the clear cut scenario which is happening inside the mouth. So usually we start off with this procedure for every other patient. So after the consultation and after doctor explains what is the problem, so they we usually carry the patient to the next level into a 
second demonstration room where the x-rays will be taken so once the concentration will be done so we'll be carrying after patient explaining after explaining the problem to the patient the doctor advises for an x-ray if at all if it is required so simultaneously once till this consultation will be done i just want to show up with our other clinics also so with the demonstrations and where the patients will be waiting and different treatments will be happening so this patient has been advised to go for an x-ray so we will be starting off with the x-ray i just wanted to show a two different types of x-rays digital x-rays what we are having so in detail and i'll be simultaneously explaining you why is this x-ray is required and what are the advantages of using this x-ray so i welcome mr chaitanya mr narayana mr indranil and ms shreya who has logged in recently and i request all of you i am dr satya mds in oral and maxillofacial pathology and doing this live chat from past 6 weeks and i appreciate your response and i i request you all to keep up this response and please do share and like so that the effort what we are trying to do will be reaching the major people in the society our main aim of this live chat is to create awareness regarding the dental programs and dental problems so that we have a better society wherein it, it will be a completely a disease free life so as i've shown in the previous case so first we'll be starting off with the x-ray for the patient as i've been explaining so for the patient we have asked to take an opg opg is nothing but orthodontomograph in which the x-ray will be taken the full mouth x-ray will be taken first next the patient will be asked to stand still like this the camera once slight adjustments are done the patient is asked to stand still and after that is done this is the opg room which provides the complete barrier between the patient and and the assistant who will be taking it so this is just a few seconds procedure the patient will be asked to stand still for 2 to 4 minute seconds so once that is done the x ray is completely done so this completely hassle free procedure as soon as the x ray will be done so we can see the x ray live over here so we can see the x ray live over here within seconds within seconds we get this x ray so we can see this x ray over here can you see the x ray which is over here so patient we can analyze every other tooth in detail so this is a digital opg we call it as a full mouth digital x ray this gives us a comfort to analyze everything in a single shot have you noticed it hardly took 30 seconds for to make, to take this x ray the previous days we used to take a film and we used to wait a day so that our killer is there sorry for the discomfort there was some signal issues so till now i have been explaining how the opg will be done so once the opg will be done so i'll show you how it will be analyzed i'll just show you how it will be analyzed i'll just show you how it will be analyzed so we'll just open the x-ray of a patient Satya MDS in oral and maxillofacial pathology 
senior most consultant and branch in charge of Partha Dental Himayatnagar. I have been working with Partha Dental for the past few years. I am very proud to be associated with Partha Dental. Partha Dental is one of the well reputed corporate dental clinics with, with better patient acceptance and spread across Andhra, Telangana and Bangalore with more than 80 plus clinics. And we are very proud to say that we have nearly 250 plus super specialty doctors and we mainly bank on a specialty practice. Why specialty is required is because as we have a different specialty fields, a similar way, even dentistry, we have so many different specializations. So in different specialties of dentistry, so Partha Dental brings all these different specialists under one roof. So today we will be showing a live demonstration of the equipments which we have in our clinic which we have been using on a daily basis. Till now I have been explaining about the intraoral camera which has been demonstrated and I have shown you how the OPG will be taken up. So now I will be showing how the OPG helps us and gives us a better comfort to understand things in a single go. So as you can see this is the OPG. So previously I explained how the OPG will be done. So we can see the OPG which has been done over here. So you can see the OPG which has been done here. So this gives us a clear cut clue about how the teeth are arranged and each and every teeth can be analyzed in a single way. So this gives us a benefit to zoom into the areas wherever we are interested to. Okay. This have a multiple options in which we can zoom into the area of interest. So we can highlight the things like this. The benefit of this is we have a comfort to use a different modes in this in which we can change the color and intensity of the areas whichever is required okay so similar way similar way we have something called as a negative pattern this gives us a clear cut demonstration of the things and all together in a single go. So all these benefits will not be there in a normal x-ray which used to be carried out few years back. So today we are using this updated x-rays by which we can transfer this x-ray on phone or on mail to every other patient to so that this will be a transferred from an area to a different area. So because in previous days when x-rays used to be folded and the x-ray information whichever which is supposed to be clear will not be transferred so that to the other doctor to clear the things to analyze the things directly but in by using this so we can transfer it in your phone it can be directly stored in a form of data so there is no chance that this can be discarded by any means. So all the clear cut details which have been maintained in this will be stored for a long time if you can store it in your database. So at this way this gives us a benefit to analyze the changes in the tissues, the changes in different sites and even in this we have an opportunity, opportunity opportunity this gives us an opportunity to analyze the things so if at all in this patient as we have there is a free empty space where he was intending to go for an implant so by this x-ray we can lively demonstrate and show him where the implant can be placed so we have an options in which we can analyze simultaneously and measure the things and show it to the patient and what size of implant can be used to the patient.
so this here you can see I'm taking a longer length 20 millimeter a 4 millimeter diameter implant and we can visually show it to the patient in front and this will be done uh, within 10 to 15 minutes of consultation so with all this high-end equipments this gives us a benefit to explain the patient directly on chair and we hardly take 15 to 20 minutes to make them understand all these different types of uh, things so till now I have been explaining about a full mouth x-ray where we use these comforts to make patient understand but now I'll be showing a sectional x-ray I'll be showing a sectional x-ray wherein we can identify a 3 to 4 3 teeth at a time so after taking a full mouth x-ray if we are suspecting any site where uh, a problem might be there okay so then we will be asking a patient to go for a sectional x-ray in that sectional x-ray so we will be targeting three to four teeth at a time so i will be showing you how the procedure will be done so in the three to four teeth at a time so we can demonstrate uh, that specific site directly so that gives us an opportunity to clearly look into the things where the problem is and where the patient will be complaining about so I just want to take you to a room where the, the sectional x-rays will be taken sectional x-rays will be taken so here we have the same patient on which we will be taking a sectional x-rays we will make the patient to sit this room wherever site the patient is complaining about the problem so we take a sectional x-ray of that site so as patient is having a problem on a left side left lower so today we will be taking an x-ray in that specific site so as this has problem even on right side so we will be starting off with x-ray on the right side so let me just demonstrate this thing Taking an X-ray. So once the X-ray will be placed, these are completely disposable things. So for every other patient, we you do change the gloves. We do change the gloves, and we do change the disposable cover on it. Shoot. the x-ray will be analyzed and yeah. so you can directly see the x-ray it hardly took any time okay within no time within seconds the x-ray has been done you can see the x-ray in which we can rotate it in an angle where whichever we want and we can zoom in and as I have shown you the different options we can use all those options to analyze the things better and a similar way we can zoom in to the things and highlight the things wherever things are going wrong so with this benefit no need to wait for a longer time for the x-rays so this x-rays gives us comfort to identify the things as fast as possible so this gives us a benefit to clear up the things faster and a similar way within no time we will be taking up this x-rays so once the x-rays are done so the x-rays will be immediately shared by the doctor in the consultation room consultation room so I'll be just showing how the x-rays will be analyzed in this room so once the x-ray will be done once the x-rays are done these are completely hazard free and the radiation exposure which happens in this digitalized x-rays are 
completely to an half a extent lesser than the regular x-rays so that's why we promote these digital x-rays and we use these x-rays for every other patient so whenever a patient will be undergoing a different set of treatments especially in cases of root canal treatments we might require more number of x-rays more number of x-rays so that's why we use this digitalized x-ray format and this gives us a benefit a benefit to identify the things and a similar way we do care about the patient that's why we use this digitalized x-ray which gives us a benefit to take uh, be assured of things whatever we are trying to do and clarify the things better to the patient and be assured of the treatment what we have done so i welcome this is mayuri who has joined us recently and i am dr satya mbs in oral and maxillofacial pathology a senior most consultant in patha dental i am here doing this live chat on behalf of patha dental patha dental is one of the well reputed corporate dental clinic with utmost patient satisfaction have been serving patients for past many years we have a clinics spread across andhra telangana and bangalore and we have a nearly 80 plus corporate dental clinics which we have been serving our patients who are booking into our clinics motto of partha dental is to a give a clear cut world class facility treatment along with a super specialty doctor be available to the patient whoever we walk into the clinic so we have been practicing this from past few years and we want to take this awareness program a deep into society with a main motto to create a better society in which it will be a completely hassle free and a dental free life a dental infection free life direct to the patient so i request you all who are viewing the live chat to drop down the questions if at all if you are having any related to dental problems or if at all if you have any queries related to dental issues of your patients of your friends of your relatives of your friends please do drop down the questions i will be clearing those questions during the question section and i request you all to please do like and share this so that our awareness program will be reaching more number of public in the society so the main motto of this live chat is to create awareness amongst the public in the society so that we can provide and give a, a better treatment to the patients so in today's live chat i'll be explaining you about the basic treatments and the basic problems for which the patient will be consulting the clinic so in which the commonest problem we will be starting off with is the cavities that should be formed as we can see even the elder patients and the younger patients all these patients will be having a commonest problem of a cavities in the teeth so many of my patients will be asking doctor my kid uh, cleans her teeth regularly uh, she will be uh, doing uh, brushing twice daily and she will not be taking sweets and chocolates also but she has this cavity problem so the causes of cavity might be different the cause of cavity formation might be different okay so that varies from each and individual patient so because whenever you have a different types of food so normally in a teeth we have something called as elevations and depressions elevations and depressions in the sense so if you can have a view about how the tooth surface is in which we can clearly have a look at how the cavity will be formed so 
the main cause of these cavities okay the main reason of these cavities as you can see as in this we will be explaining how the cavities will be formed so as we all know a teeth will be having elevation and a depression so usually in the center portion so usually in the center portion okay wherever we have a deep grooves so usually in the center portion wherever we have the deep grooves so whenever we try to chip something so this area foot will get stuck so it's not mandatory that it should be a, a sugar containing substance it might be a regular foot stuff which is getting locked at that specific site so normally in the tooth whenever we have we have something called as this elevations and depressions so tooth are not flat so teeth are not flat so it has those elevations and depressions so as we all can see except in the front teeth the back side teeth every other teeth will be having those elevations and depressions uh, whenever you have these elevations and depressions whenever we are trying to chew the foot gets stuck at this uh, depression areas so whenever it gets stuck at this depression portions so long time foot obstruction whenever you are not keeping that area clean the cavity slowly progresses so as in this case as we all know in the center of the tooth we have nerves when the cavity proceeds till the nerves so that is when the pain will be stimulated so that is when the patients will be complaining about the pain so uh, how how does this cavity form is generally as we take different types of foot stuff okay there will be a multiple uh, different types of microorganisms which enter our oral cavity whenever we are trying to take a uh, foot so when this microorganisms enter our oral cavity so these microorganisms which seat at these portions as i have shown you which seat at these portions the elevations and depressions of the teeth so there they will be lodged so they will create their home at that specific depression site where it the brushing will be skipped because in the deeper elevations the brush bristles might not be reached so when it is not reached as these areas so it will form its home so whenever it is forming its home the next thing what it does is it multiplies itself so whenever it tries to multiply multiply so after multiplying it has to feed on something so it will be feeding on it will be feeding on it will be feeding on the tooth substance so whenever it tries to feed on the tooth substance so the food which is getting collected onto the tooth and and it is trying to multiply itself and it trying to feed on the tooth so the food substance which is collected onto the tooth will be releasing some amount of harmful products so those harmful products will result in formation of this cavities on the tooth so this doesn't go along with the sweets and chocolates but still whenever you have more amount of sweets and chocolates because of a more sugar content in it there are high chances that your teeth might get affected faster okay so whenever the cavity will be formed so in in deep cavities uh, the nerve will be affected so the microorganisms staying at a specific type site for a longer duration will be causing these problems so as in this case when the cavity is affected that is when the pain will be starting so whenever these microorganisms are affecting a different site so these microorganisms will not be staying only on the tooth this or do stay even on tongue also so the that's why we request every other patient to go for a clear cut a brushing of the teeth along with their tongue because a tongue has a rough surface wherein there will be multiple microorganisms which can be lodged on the rough surface so that's why we ask every other patient to go for a tongue cleaning along with a regular teeth brushing also
so this is how as I have been explaining before so if we have the cavities at a different stage the x-rays gives us a clue about what is going wrong early with this the digitalized x-rays we can clear those problems as early as possible so early detection of cavities as uh, we have been showing uh, intraoral cameras gives us a, a better opportunity to identify things faster and which can be shown to the patient directly and lively so once these cavities are been identified so once the cavities are been identified so so especially in cases of kids we have cavities something like this because of repeated snacking so the cavities which are like this has to be cleaned so the cavity whichever will be formed so if we can identify it as early and fast without any pain so we can clear off that cavity area and refill with a material called as composite which looks just similar as tooth so we can clearly differentiate the same patient in which the cavities are completely removed and refilled with the cement material which is a composite which gives a similar strength as tooth and we can clearly differentiate we can't even differentiate which part is affected and which has part has been sealed so i'll come a few of the viewers who have joined us Ms. mayuri mr mohammed Mrs. Saberuchi. So I'll be taking up with questions. So I have questions over here. So this is Mayuri. She's asking me why teeth color changes. So uh, thank you for your question, Mrs. Mayuri. A teeth color uh, usually whenever it will be formed in the early phase, it will be a more of a milkish milkish white so that's why uh, we use a word called as a milk teeth so milk teeth word is used for a younger teeth is because it, 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 it simulates a tinge of a it simulates a tinge of a, a milk color so the whiter teeth will simulate a pure as a milk color that's why we call it as milk teeth as the age progresses once the milk teeth falls off and the permanent teeth starts so that is when we have slightly whitish yellow teeth which are permanent teeth so basically the teeth color okay what you are asking might be of two reasons okay there is something which is called as internal color and there is something which is called as external color okay so this you can take it as a simple example like how regular public will be a few 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 people will be fair in color a few people will be dark in color so the color is clearly from the internal aspect so the color what you are asking about it can be because of the, the birth itself will be having a specific color okay but a same a white white fellow will be going on a long term tour or will be exposing his skin to long term tanning so there are chances that the white skin might be turning into a slightly a blackish tinge a similar way if a white teeth is exposed to different habits like smoking or a different habits like a continuous colored food substance or if you are taking more amount of coke and the upper covering coating has been removed so in those cases you can have a change in the teeth color so especially in male patients who smoke a lot there will be so much of stains which will be formed onto the tooth so that is when we have something got as a brownish tinge of the teeth so brownish tinge of the teeth as we can see we have something called as brown stains of teeth so we can see this so 
This is how it looks. Can you see this brownish tinge? And especially who smokes, so they will place cigarette at this specific site. So because of continuous exposure to the smoking areas, so a teeth will have a superficial layer which is covering over it, which gives this blackish appearance. But these can be cleaned because as it is completely from the external aspect so it is mainly happening because of your habits so the external color which is forming a thin layer on your teeth this can be cleaned with a simple cleaning and polishing but coming to the other aspect of tooth color which is this as the age progresses okay by which as the age progresses a teeth internally will be having a secondary layer which is called as dentine which is usually slightly yellowish in color the upper protective layer will be slightly transparent and which will be exposing the inner layer so as age progresses the overlying surface is worn off so the upper surface will be cleared off in those cases the internal tinge will be exposed outside so the internal tinge will be exposed outside so in those cases we have this yellowish discoloration of the teeth so as you can uh, let's see uh, many of a female patients will be complaining about yellowish tinge of their teeth as they will be telling that initially the teeth are fine sir but later on as the age progressed so slowly the teeth turn into a yellow color okay this might be mainly because the upper covering layer would have been slightly worn off so i'll just show you uh, a clear cut case in which you can clearly see clear cut differentiation so this is the normal teeth which are white in color and this is our a patient's original yellowish color so we can achieve this whitish color of the tooth back mainly by doing a bleaching okay we have something called as bleaching in which the stains which are caused by an external source or by an internal source can be adjusted to an level or by doing a bleaching procedure by which we can recover the tooth color but still be it after doing this procedure if at all patient is continuing the similar tooth habits so there are high chances that teeth will get worse and teeth can be affected more so in these cases the conditions can be changed slightly better it can be brought to a a, a better shade of white okay so there will be few instructions which are supposed to be followed when you are going for bleaching technique so that will be explained in detail when a patient will be undergoing the procedure so if you are interested in a procedure like this please do feel flexible to contact us at 0404142000 which is a common contact number to consult all our 80 plus clinics spread across andhra telangana and bangalore so this common number gives us an opportunity to contact you so with this common number you can ask for a paper details at your nearest clinic nearest clinic so this gives us an opportunity to serve a patient better so if you are having any related problem please do feel flexible to contact us at this number so hope this would have cleared uh, your doubt this is jyoti so i want to take up one more question uh, this is by mrs abiruchi what to do with the sensitivity problem due to ice creams so to understand this we have to just look into a a small segment which we'll be starting off with right now okay so as i regularly explain as i regularly explain we can see only a part of teeth outside okay ideally the tooth will be like this we have something called as two terms of the tooth which is there inside which is like this so we call it as root so for every other tooth as we have a refill of a pen every other tooth in the center portion there will be a nerve so as i have been explaining that 
as the age progresses as the age progresses the outer layers the outer layers are washed out so the outer protective layers are washed out so this now will be there for every other person this now will be there for every other person so when this nerve is protected by two outer coverings you might not have any side of sensitivity so we have inner nerves covered outside by a skin so if at all my skin is been shaved out so then then we will be having some sort of burning irritation and some sort of pain so similar way if the outer covering layers has been removed so that is when the inside protected part which is supposed to be covered will be exposed to outside so that is when the sensitivity starts so whenever the inside nerve portion getting exposed to outside portion by uh, over overlying covering which has been disrupted that is when patient will be complaining about a sensitivity problem so for those cases also we i request you people to please get your consultation done because a sensitivity problem might vary it, it can be a early stage or it can be mild or it can be a severe also so depending upon the sensitivity problem we have to treat it accordingly it's like if at all the overlying covering the thin covering has been gone so we can rebuild that covering with using a cement which we usually use a gic cement so the portion which has been removed will be recovered back so if at all the sensitivity is very deep and the outer covering is removed so much that the inner portions are affected more so in those cases the root canal has to be done so this can be analyzed only after a proper consultation only after a proper consultation with the specialty doctor and after x rays we can analyze things and tell it so uh, i request this is abiruchi to please walk into a partha dental clinic nearest to your place so for an appointment at your nearest clinic please do contact us at 0404142000 so this number uh, gives us uh, gives you uh, clear cut details about the clinic which is closer to your house so you can walk into the clinic and get your consultation done over there after analyzing the teeth we will give a clear cut solution for that so i just want to take up one more question so this is what is jaw surgery my my daughter was advised in some dental college since her teeth are proclined a clip treatment now so yeah coming to these surgeries so so to understand why surgeries will be done and to understand in which all cases the surgeries will not be done for which we have to know a common things so that this gives us a clear cut idea in which all cases surgery might be required and which all cases a surgery is not required uh, just to clearly explain about this things so we have to understand two basics one thing is we have a teeth a teeth which are supported on a base called as jaw so if i have to take it i have a teeth supported on my base which is this jaw so we have a jaw we have a jaw and which a teeth these are metal just take my fingers as teeth and my palm this this part of the hand to be jaw so if teeth are forwardly placed like this so this can be adjusted behind like this so i repeat so if teeth are uh, placed like this so this can be adjusted behind so if at all my jaw is placed like this and teeth are also placed like this so then in that case only just by pushing the teeth back my jaw will not go behind so in those cases the jaw surgery might also be required so i just want to repeat this and this we have two things we have teeth these fingers which are moving are teeth the upper portion of my hand is the jaw so we have two components one is teeth and the upper component is the jaw 
so a jaw bases the teeth so whenever we have a teeth which are forwardly placed can be reclined back forwardly placed can be reclined back but if at all my jaw is only forwardly placed so then it should be corrected mainly by a surgery so uh, the question which has been asked by mrs mayuri is mainly regarding this thing so i'll just show few of our cases which we have treated previously so that might give you a clear cut idea about how we can go ahead about these things so i just wanted to tell about these things only by just clip alignment your teeth might get aligned but not the jaw so to adjust those things the surgeries will be required so as you can see in these cases as you can see i just wanted to show you about this case in which if you are for old patients and this the patient profile is fine okay he is having a clear cut a teeth which are completely seen outside as you can see the whole length of teeth is seen outside so till now i have been explaining about the teeth and the jaw okay teeth are forwardly placed and even the jaw is forwardly placed but a same thing if you see it from front okay as we can see the teeth clearly a teeth are fine teeth are at a normal position but if you can see at uh, this part of face it's slightly inward so this we call it as the jaw size which has grown vertically more so in this length wise this part of the face is slightly bigger because of which his lips are not closing completely whenever he is trying to close so because the teeth are coming in between to correct these things only along with clip that will not help so this should be controlled along with the surgical treatment which we call it as orthognathic surgery so which can bring a results like this so as you can see the clear cut difference of before surgery and after surgery so in before surgery as as i have been telling you he had this part of jaw which has been exposed more okay so as you can see this portion of the jaw is slightly more if by doing surgery the 2 mm bone will be adjust so that he will be having an ideal smile like this so this clearly satisfies the satisfies the patient and and patient will be having a better aesthetic appearance so this is one more case in which the patient is having a similar problem as i have been telling so teeth size will be normal only because of jaw which is slightly longer in this dimension so the patient will be having a vertical maxillary axis so we call this as a vertical maxillary axis in which the jaw the upper jaw which we call it as maxilla vertical long this length wise it will be growing up slightly more so in these cases just by correcting things with clip will correct the clip will not just jaw so this can be corrected by a jaw surgery so this will give results uh, within a week the patient can appreciate the results within a week so i just wanted to show few other cases also so till now this is one of the scenario which we can see majorly a uh, 60% of patients who will be complaining about forwardly placing teeth can be corrected only with clips but in few of the patients who will be having this sort of problems should be corrected with clip treatment along with a surgical treatment so clip treatment along with the surgical treatment will give us a, a better comfort and a better clip better acceptance of the patient so this is one of one more case in which till now i have been explaining only about this this mid face which is slightly grown in size and this is a different case in which the lower lower part of the face is grown more as you can see the lower bone has been grown longer 
So as you can see in this case, so the patient is having a longer facial length and the lower segment of the jaw will be coming ahead of the upper segment. So usually whenever we smile, the upper segment should be outside and the lower segment should be inside. But in this case, it will be exactly opposite in which the upper segment will be behind and the lower segment will be ahead. So even these cases will be corrected with surgery. So with the surgical treatment, the part of the bone will be adjusted so that the jaw will be pulled back. So with this pull back in things, so we can adjust the thing in such a way so that you will have a better aesthetic acceptance. So the patient will be having a better smile. So these results can be achieved along with a clip treatment with a surgical treatment. So the clip treatment will be helping us in aligning the teeth but the surgical treatment will be helping us to analyze things to align things in such a way so that it can be accepted better by the patient so this is the cases in which the jaw surgery along with clip surgery will be correcting the problem so as you can see in this patient the clip treatment has already been started and the jaw surgery which has been corrected so here you can notice a clear cut difference in a smile and even patients will be looking ang after the treatment so even in this is one more example on which the mid face the maxilla the upper jaw size has been increased slightly even in this case this these, these sort of cases can be corrected with a surgical treatment only so this we call it as orthognathic surgery so this surgical corrections will give us a benefit to correct your smile and even the facial appearance can be corrected so in these sort of cases uh, many of a uh, clip treatments will be carried out by orthodontist so we do have an orthodontist who will be doing live chat uh, so you if you have a uh, more related problems so you can do a live chat directly with him so whenever he'll be coming on to live so please do follow us on facebook so uh, he'll be helping you out better so if you want a consultant appointment please do contact us at 040-4142-0000 which is a common number to connect all of 42 or 80 plus uh, dental clinics 40 plus clinics in hyderabad uh, in telangana and 30 plus in Andhra and in Bangalore and nearly 12 clinics. So this sort of surgery is not mandatory that only youngsters should go for this surgery. So this is a clear cut example of one of a patient. She was having such problem. She was, she was suffering with it from her childhood but because uh, nobody supported her financially she didn't get her surgery done but at at last she was financially stable and she wanted to get it corrected and she got it corrected so these sort of things if at all if it is corrected early in life so you will have a better confidence and it can give you a better life in the in the future and gives you a, a better confidence whenever you are trying to expose yourself in front of your patients in front of your society and your friends also so i hope uh, that would have helped your question mrs mayuri just want to take up one more question by uh, mrs abiruchi in which uh, root canal treatment of wisdom teeth is required uh, so uh, wisdom teeth are uh, the last set of teeth which will be erupting into the oral cavity so wisdom teeth are usually the last set of teeth which will be coming into the oral cavity. So, uh, so in some scenarios, the wisdom teeth might not come out. And in majority of the scenarios, uh, it might come out also. Okay. So whenever it gets locked completely inside, as in this case. So you can just have a look at this case and this. The last teeth. So in this, you can see this last tooth. This last tooth. 
this last tooth and even this last tooth. So if at all the teeth is locked inside, it might not cause you many problems. 70% of cases it will not cause, 30% there are chances that it might affect also. So in those cases, uh, at the teeth which is partially out and partially in. So these sort of cases might not trouble you much. Okay, but in, in some of the cases in which it is partially in and partially out, those sort of cases will affect you. Okay, those sort of cases will give you a trouble and will give you a problem uh, while doing. Um, okay, this one. See, as I was explaining you, if the tooth, a part of thing is outside and the rest of the thing is inside. So here what happens is at this junction food will get stuck. At this junction food will get stuck. So when you are trying to brush, the brush will be going from above, your brush will be going from above, it will not be cleaning the specific side. So when it is not clean for long term, so that will be causing your problem. So if it has to be removed, so what we'll try to do is we'll try to open up this thing, access this tooth and try to remove. It is a clearly simple procedure. Okay. So this can be carried out. But what happens if at all this infected tooth and patient is not ready to go for a go for a removal of tooth? Okay, in this sort of cases, we can do root canal treatment depending upon tooth positioning. Okay, depending upon tooth positioning, we can do root canal treatment for even these cases. Uh, even for these cases, root canal treatment can be done. So even in those cases, depending upon the angle at which it is located, by just identifying the things, we can clear it up clearly. So even for wisdom teeth, root canal treatments can be done. I'll just show you a small example in which root canal treatment will be done. So, so as you can see in this case we can see the wisdom teeth it is angulated like this so these sort of cases it might be slightly difficult to do root canal treatment so in these sort of cases, it is always comfortable to get it removed if at all if it is getting if it is troubling repeatedly. So even in this sort of cases, if it is completely pushing the adjacent tooth, it is always ideal to remove the tooth. So if at all if it is partial, there is a chance if we can access the tooth, so we can go for a root canal treatment in these cases. So yes, root canal treatment can be done for a wisdom teeth if at all if it is accessible and patient is not ready to go for extraction but it is not mandatory that root canal treatment has to be done for all wisdom teeth not only in these scenarios in some of the scenarios where only the wisdom teeth is the only support by using which we will be trying to build the adjacent teeth so even in those cases you can get a yeah, root canal treatment done for a wisdom tooth so that gives you a much comfort and benefit so that we can retain the tooth for longer time and use it for use it for use it for teeth replacement so oh, i just want to take up some more questions this question is by sai durga prasad so how to clean uh, it's a gums problem so yeah uh, gums problem uh, majority of cases so many of the patients will be having gums problem uh, because as I've been telling many times that 70% uh, of teeth related problems will be expressed with pain but 70% of gum related problems will not show any sort of expressions so uh, in those cases majority of the people will be suffering with the gum related problems but still they will not be aware of things so to get these things clear it's always better to get your consultation done with the specialist so that we can identify the things and locate the things as early as possible and try to clear up the things because by clearing of these things early we can rectify the things the faster okay rather than allowing it to damage the other portions we can clear it off and we can correct it 
and bring it back to normal if you are younger we can do it faster so that's why we usually request all our patients to go for a 6 6 months checkup so that things can be identified faster and can be cleared better so this gives us a comfort and a benefit to clear the problems faster so um for a gum related problem uh, we have to identify till what extent it has been affected so first we will be identifying till what level it has been affected mr sai durga prasad so i request you to get your consultation done at your nearest clinic if at all if it is minimal only by just cleaning we can clear the problem so if at all if it starts bleeding and if at all food is getting stuck in between teeth so a segmental deep cleaning along with laser might be required so please get a consultation done at your nearest clinic if you want at the of your nearest clinic please do contact us at 0404142000 which is a common contact number connecting all 80 plus clinics in andhra telangana and bangalore so this gives us a benefit to approach the local approach the local clinic so that this gives you a benefit to get your consultation done so this this number will be connecting all 80 plus clinics so please do get your consultation done at your nearest clinic so there the doctor will clearly click the images of your gum related problems and will be taking an x ray if at all if it is required and will be trying to explain you the things in a clear way so just try to understand whatever they think so always doctors will be uh, helpful enough to explain you in better pattern so after understanding the problem please do get your treatment done so gum problems can be cleared easily with the advancement of lasers it can be done with a better patient acceptance too so usually patients will not have much amount of problem so if they are getting their treatments done using the laser i hope this should have cleared your problem I want to take up a few other questions with mr indranil can you tell about braces treatment if at all if it is painful is wisdom to the much in braces yeah so usually uh, pain associated with a uh, clip treatment so the clip treatment as i have been explaining you whenever the teeth are arranged in a different position so we will try to arrange a clip a uh, place a clip in such a pattern so that the teeth can be brought back to a normal position so in this case as you can see if a teeth are arranged haphazardly so we use help of a a clip so which aligns all these teeth and helps us to bring it back to this position okay so coming to the pain part okay being very frank whenever we are placing some foreign object on your teeth so initial days you will have some sort of discomfort because whenever something gets stuck in between the teeth you will have some sort of discomfort so whenever clips are arranged on teeth there will be a some amount of discomfort i don't tell it has to be pain there will be some amount of discomfort because till now we have been using our teeth uh, right and left and uh, we will not have any sort of problems so whenever a uh, things are uh, aligned on your teeth there are high chances there will be some amount of discomfort but after taking that discomfort you will be ending up with a beautiful smile so only by arranging these things we can achieve this so to achieve this you have to take some pain to come out with a, a better outcome but take my words the pain will not be in a such a severe extent that you can't take up so usually a discomfort will be there but pain will not be there associated with the things so you can get your clip treatment done comfortably because the patients at 14 years also uh, will not face much amount of problem with the clip treatment as i know there will be some amount of food restrictions because the sticky food and the substance which are very hard should not be taken during the treatment duration for a better acceptance and a better outcome of the result 
so one more question was is wisdom tooth removed must in braces treatment so as i told it depends completely upon the position because all cases cannot be generalized so the tooth positioning do also help because if your wisdom teeth position is normal so if the wisdom teeth position is in a normal variety like this so as you can see uh, the wisdom teeth uh, this last tooth is the wisdom teeth in this he is having a uh, tooth arranged in a normal position so there is completely no need of removing this wisdom teeth the but in case in case if 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 teeth are arranged in such a pattern so that it is troubling the other teeth like this if it is sleeping like this and troubling the other teeth in such scenarios this tooth will be putting force on the adjacent teeth okay so that might disturb the alignment so in those cases it is mandatory that wisdom teeth has to be removed before a clip alignment and clip treatment so during the procedure also the clip the wisdom teeth can be removed so this completely depends upon a which position your teeth is aligned so uh, for which i request you to get your consultation done at your nearest parthodental clinic for an appointment please contact us at 4142000 i repeat a 0404142000 which is a common contact number connecting all 80 plus clinics by which you can get a consultation done at your nearest clinic so that will give you a benefit to identify what sort of problem you are having with your wisdom teeth and the specialist who will be available at your nearest clinic will be guiding you better to uh, give you a better approach to how to how to go ahead with your clip alignment and treatment hope this would have, uh, help your questions mr inil I am Dr. Satya, MDS in Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology. Been doing this live chat from past six weeks, so we are continuously doing this live chats with the main motto that Partha Dental is mainly here to create an awareness amongst the public, so that they can face the things in a better way rather than allowing it to uh, deframe things, rather than allowing it to. Uh, finally end up with a position where the patients can't recover things so it is always better to uh, treat it as early as possible to know the things early so it is always important that awareness should be created in the society so this is the main motto for which we have been doing this marathon of a continuous live chats in which we will be explaining about different types of teeth related problems so this will give us an opportunity to uh, get into uh, get closer to the public so that we can clarify the small small problems uh, whatever they are suffering with if you have major teeth related problems please don't neglect please do ask for a consultation at your nearest clinic as i told you you can contact us at 0404142000 you can contact us at this number this is the commonest number to contact all 50 plus now 80 plus clinics so you can ask for a consultation and get the consultation done if you have any teeth related problems you can contact us at this number or if not if you want to do a whatsapp you can contact us at Eight five double zero double seven nine triple zero. I repeat, eight five double zero double seven nine triple zero. This twenty four hours WhatsApp WhatsApp chat number. If you have any teeth related problems, you can contact us at this number. So this number connects connects you directly with the specialist, and they will help you to directly clarify the problems whatever you are having related to teeth issues. And if you want to do a live chat, please do log into our website www.pathodental.com, in which we have a live chat program in which uh, a specialist will be sitting and will be explaining you directly and will be addressing your problem. If you have any related to your teeth, you can directly chat with a specialist also. And if you want to meet a doctor at your nearest clinic. so please do feel comfortable to contact us at 
414-2000. If you would have missed out asking any questions related to teeth problem, please feel flexible to drop down the questions for next live chat or if not, you can do a direct live chat on our website also at www.parthadental.com. So if you are feeling any problem related to a high-end dental treatments and because of a major cost of dental treatment problems, we do have offers running in our clinics, in which the Bajaj Finance, in which you can get your treatment done at a go, but the treatment cost can be paid on an EMI basis. So um, on, on, by a flexible EMI basis, you can pay your EMI options and with a complete interest free, you can get your treatment done. And we do have a capital flow facility too. So this gives us an opportunity to treat our patient better. So please do feel flexible to contact us and walk into our nearest clinic for your our dental related problems. Hope this live chat would have uh, given you some awareness uh, on the dental related problems. So please do join us for uh, next live chat and please do support our doctors by sharing and liking. If you want to know anything about Partha Rental, please do log into to our website www.partharental.com and if not you want to you can log into our official website uh, YouTube channel in which we have a patient satisfactory videos uh, directly. You can look into the videos directly and, as, and, and analyze the problems and analyze and come out with a, a better outcome. With all these things, signing off, um, Dr. Satya, MDS in Oral and Maximum Patient Pathology. Thank you.